More than 120 million people in India have lost their jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic. Many have left big cities where they work to go back to their home villages. Some have made 1000 km long journeys on bicycles and on foot, carrying what they can. But workers aren't just losing their jobs and paychecks. A number of state governments have also decided to make significant changes to their labor laws. Most of them are governed by the national ruling party, the BJP. They're rolling back workers' riots and arguing it's needed to kickstart the economy. The boldest move has been made in Uttar Pradesh, which is home to a large number of migrant workers. Its regional government has suspended almost all labor laws for the next three years. The laws are wide-ranging. They offer protections to workers from layoffs and during strikes, and also require safe workplaces. Labor advocates say a removal of these laws will lead to exploitation of workers. Some suspension will give the industries the right to hire and fire at will. And the workmen will not be in a position to raise any industrial dispute because the Industrial Dispute Act has also been suspended now. So if you think if you take industry if you take development only to mean the development of the industrialists or the owners of the company or the factory, and if you think only they contribute to the development, then it's all right. But the fact remains that it's the labor force, the workforce that contributes as much. Leaders of seven political parties have written to the President of India saying workers under Indian constitution are not slaves. But supporters suggest removing the protections will help businesses survive the pandemic and will help workers in the long run too. India's restrictive labour laws are the reason why our labour market over the years has been predominantly in the unrecognised sector. By dismantling it, as some BJP ruled state have, we are creating a massive opportunity for our large workforce to move to a more formal regime. Labour rights advocates say it's up to the central government to stop this exploitation. Now, in the you, if this law for, in, requires ratification by the president. So it's still the central government, because it's a central legislation, the central government still has the time and the power to prevent this. But the fact is that at the, both the level, at the central and state level, the government is of the Bharti Janta Party. So I don't see if uh, they will, I mean, I. They should. They should, in fact, stop this ordinance. But we'll have to see if they do at all. Workers are having to brave the weather along with the job losses during the pandemic. They no longer have paychecks and they have no idea when they will get another one. But they are hoping to at least find something to eat once they get back home. <laughs>